What's up, y'all? This is Osiris with the long overdue OBS Studio tutorial. So hopefully this goes quickly and smoothly. So let's just drop right into it and not waste any of your time. So first, we're going to need a terminal. Open your terminal. It should look like this or something similar. <clears throat> and then we're going to add the FFmpeg repositories that we need. So first we're going to do sudo apt add repository ppa colon John Severinsen. Make sure I spell this right. Uh, I will put this on screen for, for it so it's easy for you to see. FFmpeg. All right. Enter. Type in your password. Hit enter again. And now we're going to go to the OBS Studio page so we can get this information right here, the name of the PPA. And do, do sudo apt add repository PPA colon OBS project for slash OBS studio. Enter once again, enter again, and then we're going to do sudo apt get update. Things will happen on your screen. And then when the things get done happening, which is just updating your repository information, you're going to just go to the PPA for this uh, FFmpeg and install it. So let's see. We see that there is an FFmpeg for um, Trusty, which is what I'm on, which is 14. Oh, uh, two, I believe something like that. So sudo apt get install FF MPEG. Bam. Hit yes when it asks you to. And it will now install FF MPEG. It might take a second. And the reason we need this FFmpeg is because OBS Studio relies on FFmpeg uh, and not AVCom, which is what the Ubuntu and their uh, the Ubuntu derivatives like Mint, Kubuntu, and Azubuntu use. So now that we have the dependencies from FFmpeg that we need, we can do sudo apt get install OBS Studio, enter, hit yes when it asks you to, once again, let it install which might take a, depending on your connection and whatnot, might take a few seconds or a few minutes. And now that is installed. So let's go check to see if it's up in, if it's in here. Actually, it's just in KDE. I can just go to recently installed. It should be in there somewhere. There it is. OBS is right there. Uh, when you first start, it's going to give you, uh, a, e, a, a EULA or EULA end user license agreement. You just hit a, I agree. You know, nobody reads those things anyways. So now we now have OBS studio in Linux. I know. Awesome. So. Now we want to go and set this up. So let's go to right here settings. Uh, click your language of choice. Mine is English, obviously. So we have English, then go to stream. Uh, just leave it at streaming services. Pick your service, which is most likely uh, Twitch, but you might have YouTube or Hitbox also. That's up to you. But uh, for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to stick with Twitch. Pick the server that is closest to you. Uh, my closest uh, Twitch server would be Dallas, Texas. S so then right here, we need to enter our stream key. Now, before anybody goes and tells me that my screen key is on stream, I mean on screen, I already know it is on screen. 
and it will get changed after the tutorial. So save your comments. They're not needed in that regard. So go to your Twitch. Uh, um, click your name. Go to dashboard. Click over here where it says streaming key or stream key rather show key highlight the whole key make sure you have it all and control C for copy and then you're just gonna simply paste it right there hit apply then uh, go to output tab over here you're gonna pick where you want it to save the files at click browse I want mine to go to media Michael storage and let's see projects cat you can leave yours default but I'm just gonna set mine up the way I want to uh, up front uh, so I have an external drive I'm not an external drive but a secondary drive for for this type of stuff uh, this is where it's gonna actually record the local stuff if you choose to record locally um, so click your bit rate now for your bit rate your video bit rate I would choose about 75 percent of your upload or something like that so uh, there are calculators and stuff on on online where you can uh, determine your video bit, bit rate but uh, so if you have uh, 1000 megs up 75 percent of that would be 750 kilobits or if you have two megs up I would I would do something like 1500 so let's uh I'm just gonna set mine for a thousand for now see how that works out like look, you're gonna have to test this out and see what works best for you I can't tell you what works best for you it depends on several factors but uh alright we're gonna set our audio bit rate to 128 leave automatically reconnect retry delays 2 maximum retries 20 and let's see here we're gonna leave this stuff alone do not check enable advanced encoder settings uh, not, not at least in the context of this tutorial. So hit apply, go to audio, then go to, um, uh, we can leave everything here alone because we'll add the audio devices from within OBS's main screen. So keep on moving to video. That's going to be OpenGL for the renderer. Uh, the video adapter is not important. Here's your base resolution. Your base resolution is the resolution that your uh, monitor is actually at. So make sure it's what it's at. Uh, mine is 1920 by 1080 for my uh, gaming monitor. Uh, now here, scaled resolution. This is somewhat important. So right now it's defaulted to 720, which is a fraction of what 1080 is, but it's still the same 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So what you're going to have to do is test this out, experiment. If 720 works for you and that's what you want to stream at, then awesome. But if 720 does not work for you, what I suggest you do is you go to Google, type in 16 colon 9 resolutions. And uh, here's a good website that I have found before that actually lists you all the 16 by 9 resolutions in green. So find the resolution that is uh, the same aspect ratio as your screen, which is 16 by 9. And on this website, they would be in green. And then find that in this drop down and select it. Well, we're just going to leave mine at 720. Then the common uh, FPS values will be set to 30 frames per second. And that's it uh, for the setup. Now you have a scene here. There's already a default scene in there for you. You can add another scene by pushing the plus or delete the scene by hitting minus. And since we already have a scene, we're going to leave this one alone. Actually, let's just add one. We'll call this Twitch. All right. Then we're going to add, if you have a screen overlay, let's start with the screen overlay. An image. Add an existing image. And images doesn't seem to work. I'm not sure how to add an image. Well, I guess we're not adding an image. All 
All right, there we go. You add new. That's my fault. Uh, so let me find my image in here. Where would I put my image? Uh, let me go find it real quick. All right, I know where it's at. Found it. Streaming. Okay, there's my image. Uh, so my webcam would go here. The game would go obviously inside of there. And we can just close that right there. And if it's not the right size for whatever reason, right click it, go to transform and fit to screen. There we go. Now it fits to the screen. So now we need to add our audio devices. So first we need an audio output. Select your audio device. Mine happens to not be the onboard one, but yours might be the onboard one. Uh, built in audio. Mine is this device here, the mobile pre analog stereo. Select that. And there you go. That is the, uh, that would be the game's audio output. And then we're going to add another one for our microphone, uh, audio input capture. Hit OK. And select your device again. Once again, mine is the mobile pre analog stereo. Click it. And then now you see the uh, VU meter moving because it's picking up my microphone. So uh, if you want to test out your microphone, make sure that you can actually see this VU meter moving. And let's just uh, experiment a little bit. So we'll add, uh, I don't know, some text. Uh, we'll call this Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Osiris. There you go. And just go ahead and close this. It auto saves. And now I'll notice that it is right up here. My, I, it looks like mine save or no, it just happens to fit. <laughs> so I, I was lucky. But if you needed to move this around, all you would do is click it. See that now you have the red box around it and you can just drag it. So if you wanted it over here or like, let's say I want it under my name. I think that's good. Put it up, put it under your name and there you go. Actually, let me uh center this. Well, no, I think it would look better if I edit it, edit the text. So let's just edit the text just by double clicking and just put Twitter at Osiris. Close the box again. You see it auto updates. We'll put this right under here. And there we go. It's that simple. And that's all there really is to it. Um, obviously you can get into more complex things, uh, adding more scenes, swing, scene switching. But, uh, if you just want to basically stream to Twitch, this is the quick and dirty, easy way how to stream to Twitch. Uh, then you would just hit start streaming here to stream it to your uh, service of choice or you can do a local recording by start recording and that is it so hopefully this helps you out until next time hit the follow hit the likes and dislikes whatever makes you feel good inside and this is Osiris and I'm out the time game and ported it over to the train team by doing so it allows us Linux gamers to play it also because trying to engine obviously play it on Linux uh, and it's made by Frozen Bite. And